Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's class, I will talk about electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Uh, and in this class, I will uh, tell you that what are the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions and also I will try to explain you the complete mechanism of the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Okay. Now, before going further, we should uh, know that uh, what are electrophiles. Now, what are electrophiles? It is made up of two terms. The electro means electrons and file means loving. Okay. Any species which is electron loving is called the electrophile. Now, if this is electron loving species, then it must be a positively charged species. Okay. Now, if this is positively charged species, it means this is electron deficient. Clear? So, in other words, we can say the electrophile is a species which is positively charged and is electron deficient. So, it is always seeking for the electron density. Now, when we talk about that electrophilic aromatic substitution, I am focusing on this term aromatic. Now, aromatic means we are talking about benzene ring. In case of benzene, we have large number of electrons over this benzene ring. So, any electrophile, if we denote it like E positive, because uh, it must be a positively charged species, which is electron deficient, uh, it is seeking the electron density, which is available on the benzene ring. Now, this benzene, uh, this electron density over the benzene can easily attack over this electrophile and then substitution takes place. So, these types of reactions are called the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Now, why we are calling the substitution? Because when electrophile is added to the benzene ring, some other thing like the most of the time it is the proton. Proton is um, leaving the benzene ring. Okay. So, it means that electrophile is substituting in the position of the proton if, if the proton is the leaving group. Okay. So, that's why we call it as the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Okay. Now, let us see that what are the general uh, mechanism of the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Okay. Now, for any kind of electrophilic substitution reactions, the first step is the generation of electrophile. Okay. Now, E is joined to any other, uh, means this is the complete molecule and this is the electrophile portion which will be detaching from the other part of the molecule. Now, electrophile will be generated. Now, the other part obviously will be a negatively charged species, okay, because if positive charge is leaving the molecule, then the rest of the molecule must be the negatively charged. Okay. So, this is the electrophile. Now, our electrophile is generated. We will take examples also later on. I am just telling you the journal mechanism. Second step is the formation of carbocation. Now, this benzene ring attacks this electrophile like this, these, this electron, okay. It, uh, it can be any, electro, uh, actually this can be any bond which is attacking over the electrophile, but uh, we can show only one bond that it is attacking the electrophile. Now, when it will attack the electrophile, what will happen? These two bonds will remain as such. Now, uh, this electrophile can uh, be added over here or over here. So, you can add 
at any place. Let us say we are adding it at this place. Now H is already there over this carbon atom. So now this carbon becomes positively charged because both of these electrons, now both of these, let me show you, both of these electrons are going to accommodate this electrophile. That's why this carbon becomes positively charged. Clear? Now, as this carbocation is formed, which is also called the erenium ion. Okay, this is the erenium ion and also we call it as VLAND intermediate okay and this is the sigma complex okay now why this is the sigma sigma complex because all the sigma bonds are there that's why this is the sigma complex means that electrophile is joined through the sigma bond only to the benzene ring okay now this is not the aromatic You can see here it was aromatic. Now in this position, this species is not aromatic in nature. So these are the these are just the characteristics of this carbocation, or we call it as the erenium ion. Now this carbocation generated will be will try to stabilize itself. How it will do? This bond will shift over here. This bond will remain like this and this is positively charged. E and H will remain as such. Now, the third resonating structure will be like this. This and the positive charge will come over here and E and H will be like this. Okay. Now, these three resonating structures can be shown like that. Now you can see that positive charge is spreaded over these three carbon atoms. So actually this is spreaded over 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. All the five carbon atoms but not on the sixth carbon atom. So we can show it like this. This is the sigma complex or the erenium ion or the VLAN intermediate. This is the resonance hybrid structure of the above three resonating structures of the erenium ion. So this is the erenium ion. Okay. Now the third step is abstraction of proton. Now uh, if we have to do the substitution then in the third step this proton has to leave from here. So let us take one of the resonating structure like uh, let us say we have first one. This is the first structure. Now what will happen? This is already present in the solution. Now this will take this proton, it will abstract this proton and this proton will leave its electron for this uh, benzene ring and it will become like these two bonds are already there. Here we have E only and now this bond is formed and H will be abstracted by Z. Okay, now this is the product. So this is the journal mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction in aromatic compounds. Okay. Now I hope this is clear with you. Now let us see that what are the evidences which shows that this is the actual mechanism of the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Now one thing I would like to tell you is that the first step that is the attack of the electrophile 
or we in other words we can say when the benzene when the electron density of benzene is attacking the electrophile that is the slow step and this is the rate determining step and the second step is the fast step okay now after generating the arrhenium ion this is a very unstable kind of ion because you can see that this is aromatic in nature but when it it becomes the arrhenium ion then this is not aromatic so uh, this is highly unstable ion or the unstable intermediate so it will try to quickly convert into the products that's why the second reaction is the fast reaction so comparatively first reaction is the slow step so this uh, in uh, this is not the actually the first step this is the second step of this mechanism so we can say that this second step is the rate determining de step in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions now this is the important point which will uh, be used for the uh, to see the evidences of the mechanism of this reaction now let us see the evidence for the step wise mechanism that this uh, the mechanism of the this electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions go by uh, go by first second and the st third step wise okay so in the first step we have already seen that the first step is the slow step and the second step is the fast step okay now when the uh, isotope tracer technique was used isotope tracer technique when isotope tracer technique was used then it was found that if we take the benzene ring in which all the protons are protons means h1 and the compared the same reaction with the deuterated benzene this is the deuterated benzene they did the electrophilic substitution reaction here again they did the electrophilic substitution reaction and they found that they got uh, let us write it like this they have got this and here also they have got the substituted product here all are h now in both of the reaction the rate of the reaction was same now we already know that in the second step the cleavage of this bond takes place now if you compare it over here like uh, if i highlight this that in the second step the cleavage of the ch bond takes place now if we have replaced the proton with the deuterium like uh, in the second step here also uh, the the cleavage of ch will take place and in in this deuterated benzene the cleavage of cd will take place now we already know that the cleavage of ch and cleavage of cd that uh, both the bonds are different and the cd the cleavage of the cd bonds uh, bond takes uh, more time to cleave than the ch bond okay if the cleavage of cd or ch bond or in other words the the last step was the, the rate determining step then they would have different rate of reaction for both of these reaction now we can see that the rate of reaction was same for both of the compounds it means the uh, the cleavage of the ch or the cd bond this is independent of the rate of the reaction okay so it means this is not the slow step uh, this is the fast step if we consider that the cleavage and the attack of electrophile was taking place simultaneously like uh, we have like this now electrophile is attacked with the electron density 
and uh, if we uh, say that this is the concerted mechanism like h is also leaving e is also bonding uh, making bond so if this is the concerted step like if this is the one step reaction then again this uh, cleavage of this ch bond would have interfered in the rate of the reaction but we have seen that uh, this is not taking part in the rate of the reaction so this is not the one step reaction this is actually the two step reaction in which the first step where the attack over the electrophile is taking place that is the redetermining step and the other one when the ch or the cd bond is cleaved that is the fast step and that is not taking part in the uh, the rate of the reaction okay clear so this was all about the evidences of the mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction now we have seen the general mechanism of aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions let us take now few examples to discuss more about the uh, this electrophilic substitution reactions now one thing uh, to be noted over here is that the uh, the whole mechanism for all of the examples will remain same the only thing that you have to uh, focus more on is the generation of the electrophile because the generation of electrophile for all of the reactions will be different and that is the only different step over here otherwise the second step where the electrophile was attacked and the third step where the proton was uh, leaving from the benzene ring all these will remain same the only important thing to note about here is in different kind of examples is the generation of the electrophile i will uh, now show you one reaction the complete reaction uh, with example uh, that how the reaction takes place we will take the example of halogenation of benzene with uh, with chlorine we will take this example i will tell you that how the electrophile will be generated over here and then um, and i will also tell you the the complete mechanism of this of this reaction uh, then for other uh, for other reactions i will just tell you that how the electrophiles is uh, electrophiles are generated in, in different kinds of reactions but the rest of the reaction will remain same okay now for this reaction let us see the mechanism our first step was the generation of electrophile now how does the electrophile is generated now one thing to be noticed over here is that we require one lewis acid for the aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions now what is the role of this lewis acid um, it helps the generation of the electrophile from the reagent okay let us see how does it happen like in case of cl2 we can write it as clcl this is the lewis acid in lewis acid the iron is electron deficient it has vacant orbitals so it is in it is in need of electrons what does it will do it will polarize this chlorine and it will try to make a bond with one of the chlorine atom okay sorry there is not the uh, negative charge we have only the charge over this chlorine and the iron has the negative charge and in the second step when the attack of electron density takes place on the electrophile now this is the generated electrophile on which this electron density will attack okay we will write it like this this has delta negative charge when this bond will attack over the chlorine what will happen these two bonds will remain like this now we have positive charge over here h is already there cl will come over here now when cl will come over here uh, 
this bond will shift to this FeCl4 negative. Now here is the complete negative charge and it has become FeCl4. Now FeCl3 is completely successful in abstracting the one of the chlorine atom with its electrons. That's why it has negative charge. Okay. Now this is the erenium ion. Now this will try to stabilize itself as we have seen in the journal mechanism of the electrophilic substitution reaction. Let us see how does it happen. Now these are the different resonating structures of this erenium ion and we can show it as the resonance hybrid structure of the erenium ion. This is the sigma complex. Now third step is the removal of this proton. In the third step, what happens? This FeCl4 comes here again. It abstracts this proton. It leaves its electron over here. And this aromatic ring is substituted with chlorine now. FeCl3 and HCl. These are the byproducts. So this was the complete mechanism of the chlorination of benzene ring. Now let us see that how does the nitration of benzene ring takes place. Now let us take the second example of the nitration of benzene ring. As I have already told you that the first step that the generation of the electrophile is the most important step and rest of the mechanism is same for all of the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So in this reaction, I will just tell you that how the electrophile is generated. The first step is the generation of electrophile. Now how does we can write this nitric acid as we can write it like this HNO3 okay we have H2SO4 concentrated sulfuric acid we are taking what happens this sulfuric acid helps to generate the electrophile from the nitric acid now it gives one of the proton to this nitric acid then what happens it has already one H over here, another H is attached to this oxygen. Now this is positively charged. It has one lone pair of electron. Now what happens? Uh, it leaves water and one nitronium ion is generated. This is called the nitronium ion okay and one HSO4 negative because one of the H has joined this oxygen now of the nitric acid. So this is our electrophile in case of nitration of benzene. Now these are some other examples of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. In the first reaction this is the sulfonation of benzene ring the electrophile is the electrophile is this SO3. We can show it like this SO3. Now S has the sulfur has the positive charge. It is electron deficient. So it acts as the electrophile. In the second reaction, this reaction is friedel trafft reaction. This is friedel crafts alkylation. Okay. And in this case, the electrophile is carbocation. The third reaction is friedel craft acylation reaction. In this case, the electrophile is acyl. And the last reaction is this, the mercuration of benzene ring. In this case, the electrophile is this one. Okay. 
Now, this, uh, the only the electrophiles are different, but the other mechanism is almost same for all of the reactions. If you want me to explain uh, the complete mechanism of any of the reaction, you can tell me in the comment section. So this was all about the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. In our next video, we will discuss about the effect of the substituents on the dye substitution of benzene ring. So I hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe my channel to watch more such videos on the basic organic chemistry. Till then, bye bye.